Amazon Prime has some of the most terror-inducing movies on its platform, and we need to talk about it. These are some of the most scary movies I've ever seen on a streaming platform. From horror flicks with cultural impact to just straight up gore fest, these are the top 10 scary movies on Amazon Prime. Run Sweetheart Run I knew this movie was going to be scary the moment I saw that Blumhouse was involved. These are the guys who gave us The Purge, Paranormal Activity and the Insidious franchise and I was not disappointed. In the movie we meet Sherry, this beautiful young mom who's working to be a lawyer and has a boss who may or may not be Phil Coulson from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Phil tells her to have dinner with a client for him that night. So Sherry meets this guy called Ethan. He's a cool dude who buys her good sushi and he takes her to his apartment and immediately tries to unalive her. Sherry manages to escape, but Ethan catches her and tells her, Let's play a little game. I'm gonna try to take your life for the remainder of the night, and if you survive till morning, you're safe. Also, don't try to call the police, because I control the police, and also I'm not human. So Sherry has to run around for this supernatural hunter, uncovering some truths about a male-dominated society and watching a bunch of her friends meet unfortunate circumstances. It's epic! Malignant James Wan is probably one of my favorite horror movie directors ever. He's honestly reasonable for creating some of the best horror movie franchises like The Conjuring, Insidious and the Saw franchise. So when I saw that he made a new horror movie, I was very interested. In the movie, this girl Madison almost gets unalive by her abusive husband Derek while she's pregnant with their child. But then Derek kicks the bucket mysteriously and while that might be good news, the thing is Madison saw it happen even though she wasn't physically in the room. Then she starts seeing more and more people get unalived and she realizes that she's being haunted by a sinister presence named Gabriel that has ties back to when she was a baby and the dude Gabriel is out for blood. So Madison and her close loved ones and the police have to stop Gabriel before he takes out more people and creates more horrors. Now I have to hand it off to James Wan. The visuals in this movie were fantastic. The whole vision sequence and the sinister feeling it's able to incur is top notch. Overall, Malignant is a scary and exciting watch. Good Night Mommy If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know we like movies with big reveals and Good Night Mommy simply caught me off guard in the end. So in the movie, two kids, Lucas and Elias, go visit their mother, who has been estranged from them since she split up with their dad. But when they meet her, mother has bandages all over her face and she's scary to say the least. Soon, mother starts giving them rules like don't go in the barn or don't go in her room. Soon, the boys start to notice some things like the fact that their mother doesn't want them around and also the fact that in her pictures, mother has green eyes but the person under the bandages has blue eyes. So the kids start trying to run away from mother and it leads to some very unforeseen circumstances and an entirely big reveal that flips the movie on its head but at the same time makes everything we've seen so far make so much sense. The Cursed This movie is mostly set in the 1800s where the people of a particular town unalive a bunch of people, take their leader and bury her alive with a pair of silver teeth. And then they take the last survivor and turn him into a scarecrow. So this ends up cursing their land and a set of kids go looking for the scarecrow. One of them finds the pair of teeth and this unleashes a bunch of horrors on their town. The townspeople try to light off the curse in a lot of ways but it causes way more harm than good. Honestly, this movie is not for the faint-hearted. It's got the exciting feels of a supernatural thriller, but at the same time, it's so scary that you want to curl underneath a blanket and hide. And the core message of what goes around comes around that the movie fantastically portrays is all so satisfying. Do you know what else is satisfying? Hit in the subscribe button. That way you'll never miss out when we drop a new video on your favorite streaming platform. Seriously, click it. <laughs> you felt the satisfaction, didn't you? Cobweb If you're a fan of Amazon Prime, then you probably know Anthony Starr. You know the guy who plays Homelander. Well, he stars in this horror movie flick that feels a lot like Caroline. You see, this little boy Peter had a problem. He seems to be hearing some noise coming from inside the walls of his room. And every time he tells his parents, they're like, Boy, you have a very expensive imagination. There's nothing in the walls. But the noises keep happening and he starts to talk to someone from inside the wall. 
And then the young Peter realizes that he isn't really safe in this house, and his parents might not be too good. His school teacher takes notice that something is wrong with his family, and this kid might be in danger. But by the time she gets involved, things take a very dramatic turn, revealing that something even more sinister is going on in the household. Suspiria This is a kind of horror movie that I usually don't see. A horror movie based on dancing. So this girl Susie gets accepted to a dance academy in West Berlin named Marcus Academy, where they teach some of the grandest forms of dancing. But the problem with the place is that a bunch of the girls keep disappearing, and now a psychotherapist by the name of Klemperer has started investigating them. But don't even worry about him, because this story is really about Susie who befriends a couple of girls in the academy, and together they all find out that school is run by a coven of witches, and anytime anyone tries to escape, something bad happens to them. So, the girls work together to stop the witches as they prepare for a very nefarious event during which the biggest reveal I have seen in a horror movie happens. I can't tell you what it is, but I promise you that you will not see it coming. The movie stars Dakota Johnson, Tilda Swinton and a bunch of other amazing people, and it was definitely worth the watch. Dark Harvest This is one of those movies where the plot just makes you go, what the hell is going on? So in 1962, in a very small town during Halloween, the children of the town compete to unalive a supernatural monster by the name of Sawtooth's Jack. But this year, this boy Jim manages to take out the monster and he leaves town and his younger brother Richie. When the next Halloween rolls around, Richie is told not to compete since his family has already won. Richie competes anyway and he finds out that this year's Sawtooth's Jack is his brother Jim. This opens the plot in pretty interesting ways, as a mind-boggling conspiracy about the town is revealed with the kids being at the heart of it, all culminating into a gruesome but also satisfying conclusion. Dark Harvest is amazingly scary and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The Manor Here's another weird one for you, a horror movie about old people. Judith is a 70-year-old dance instructor who suffers a stroke and gets moved to an old people home, which is strongly opposed by her grandson Josh, but she goes anyway. When living in the home, Judith starts to notice that a bunch of the elders in the home end up missing or not alive, and she goes, what the hell? Then she starts seeing a very eerie creature coming into her room in the night, and upon further investigation, Judith realizes that some of the older residents are much older than they appear, and they've been using some genuine mystical powers to do some diabolical things in the home, and Judith gets caught up in it. Now while this movie is strange and scary, the ending may turn a few heads. I found it cool, but I honestly don't know how you might feel about it. Antrim, the deadliest film ever made. So this is a movie about a movie within a movie or documentary. Antrim is a crazy film, one that fills you with dread from the very first second of the movie. So in the movie, there's this movie called Antrim that's apparently cursed because anytime the movie is involved in anything, bad things happen. When the movie almost premiered at a film festival, bad things happened. And when movie studios turned it down, bad things happened to the studios. When people even watched the film, bad things happened. So in 2018, some individuals decided to do a documentary about the movie and the tragedies that surround it. Upon inspecting the movie's reels, they found out additional footage had been added to the film, and they're not sure who did it. So they decide to play the movie, and it's genuinely crazy. You see, it's about two kids who lost their dog and are trying to dig a hole in the ground that will lead them straight to hell to save the dog. And this ends up having some sinister consequences for them and the people watching the movie. From Beyond Lastly, I thought you would appreciate a classic because you can't have a decent horror movie list without bringing up a really old film. From Beyond was released in 1986 and it tells the story of a group of scientists. This guy, Dr. Pretorius, invents a machine that lets you see into another dimension, called the Resonator. The Resonator also allows some very dark creatures from that dimension to come into theirs and they end up unaliving the Doctor. His assistant Crawford gets blamed for his demise and arrested. Crawford is rescued by some other scientists who are interested in the resonator. So they rebuild the machine and turn it on, and it puts their life in danger. As Dr. Pretorius returns, only this time he is something else. Something much more supernatural and malevolent, threatening to take the scientists into the other realm. This concludes our list of top 10 scary movies to watch on Amazon. 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which one you're most interested in seeing or which one you've already seen? Be sure to check out our other videos on Amazon Prime. And as always, thanks for watching Cinema Cascade.